And for a lot of fans that just sat through 162 and knew it was over in like June, July, or maybe knew the whole time, like, uh, it just isn't it. This is where like it actually does become the most exciting part of the season, most exciting part of the year for a lot of baseball fans the next couple of weeks. Because you just sit around and you're like, man, if we had a good this and that, if we had a good left fielder, if we had a competent catcher, if only we had a couple, if only we had more bullpen help. And so now we get to like go to the party. We got our GMs, we got our front offices, like we have the people we that are out there making decisions for our clubs. It's just fun to go through this and be like, well, I, you know, we have money, but you know, we're not that smart with it. And there's other teams that don't have a ton of money, but are super smart with their money. And again, coming out of the lockout, there's gonna be so much shit that's going on this off season. And I think baseball very much is trending in the right direction. If you had this conversation with me a year ago, knowing the lockout was coming, probably would have been much, much, much more apathetic. But having gone through like a full, you know, having gone through the full season now, the way these storylines are coming together, like I'm very optimistic and bullish about the future of baseball. I think this off season's going to be very promising. I hope there's, I hope there's just like massive, massive moves in waves and just like crazy shit. Yeah, I want to see Judge be a giant. I would love to see Judge be a giant or some random team. Uh, that wants to, that then uses the judge sign to be like, no, we're going all in. You know, there's so many different things I want to see. 